team, welcome back. This is Kofi Fenway's Pit Stop, brought to you by Three Legged Thing and Toxic Camera Bags. I'm Dave Williams, and today I'm in Lofoten. I'm hiding from a storm uh, that's raging outside. There's a, a really strong wind bringing in the snow. But today, I want to talk to you about how to get tack sharp photos every time. And it all comes down to knowing your equipment. For most of us, when we're trying to achieve a tack sharp photo, it comes down to two things. Firstly, knowing our lens and secondly using our tripod using our tripod to create a steady base means we're not going to disturb the image we're not going to risk the slightest bit of shake when we move that might result in some blur throughout our image so make sure you use a steady base but also know your lens most lenses are at their sharpest between two to three stops down from their maximum aperture so if our lens has a maximum aperture of f 2.8 the sharpest spot, the sweet spot, the point at which we're going to get the most sharpness throughout our image on that lens is f8. If we've got a different kind of lens, perhaps an f3.5 being the maximum aperture, we could be looking at somewhere else, somewhere further along like f9 and we could even go through to f11. Each lens is going to tell you what the sharp spot is or what the sweet spot is for the sharpness. But we can also figure it out for ourselves by getting our lens taking a photo of some text in a book or a newspaper at different apertures and then testing to see which one actually looks the sharpest. It's as simple as that. Make sure you know the sweet spot for your lens. Make sure you use a tripod to keep your image steady. And that is today's Coffee Fernvase Pit Stop. That easy tip about how to get sharp images. It's a bit of a secret. Don't tell too many people. I'm Dave Williams, sponsored by Three Legged Thing and Morally Toxic. I'll see you next week.